All right, so when I posted the video yesterday, we didn't have the news yet, but basically they told us in the Outlast Trust Discord server that there will be a blog post coming out because every one of us was very confused after the Game Awards trailer that basically told us nothing. And you know, rightfully so, very confused and also angry. So yeah, they now posted that blog post, so I will go over it. I already skimmed over it and honestly... I don't really like it, I will talk about uh, more about that later, but I just want to go over it and, you know, discuss it first. So, developer update December 2023, future of trials, winter event and consoles. Now, here, first up, they'll talk about their March 5th, 2024 release with the trailer, which, again, is very poor. Because, you know, it was just baiting on like, oh my god, big streamer reaction. I might have only played the game once or twice for them, but oh my god, he has a huge number. Ooh. Which I, I hate this type of marketing. It's also somewhat of a weak marketing because it's almost telling as if they have not enough confidence in their product to just make a normal gameplay trailer and just, you know, hide behind big names. So yeah, I could go on and on, on but yeah, was a bad trailer, but yeah. So it's coming out for consoles, cross progression won't be a thing, but cross play will be. Cross progression probably not because of Sony and Microsoft. It's out of Red Barrel's control, it's entirely on them, so yeah. Good stuff, honestly. Console people can also enjoy the game, which, again, I'm gonna say it again, it's a good game, so... Good for them. Now, Winter Event, Winter Kills, brace yourselves for a new limited time event, coming to Outlast Trials next week, more info to come. I'm gonna talk about that more later. Now, return of all events, basically, yeah, we have participated in Omega, unfortunately, Geister as well in the weekly programs. Basically, they're saying, we will fine-tune this as we go. So, we go out of early access with, like, the variators, like, it's a bit of a testing ground, and after early access, they will always return in the future. So, for people on console, for example, that were very concerned, Oh my god, the Halloween event was there, but I won't be able to get the skin. They, this stuff will all return next year, don't you worry. That's basically confirming that. Now, special Halloween event, they're going over the program Geister thing. And they're basically just saying, yeah, it was too time-consuming, too grindy, and overall... Once the event was over, you couldn't spend your points anymore, so that was also kind of bad. So they are basically taking this feedback into account for future events. Which is good to see. It is very good to see that they are, you know, looking at this. And, you know, future events, hopefully, Winter Kills, will be less of a grind than Program Geister. Because Geister was very grindy. And... Yeah, it got old really quickly. Now, weekly programs, they're basically going over the entire thing. Designed as experimental therapies by Murkoff, weekly programs aim to test regions in unconventional situations that, that diverge from normal trial rules. Now, they're basically saying they're intended to be inclusive for everyone, be it new or seasoned player, rather than strictly challenging. That's what we kind of were, like, trying to guess if this was actually supposed to be a substitute to Program X or if it's just completely experimental. Here they're basically saying it's experimental and yeah, they will have a lot of stuff coming up. You can look up leaks if you want to. It already got kind of leaked what type of stuff is coming out. Some disappointing stuff, but some stuff that is also very exciting. Like spoilers, but yeah, look it up on your own. I don't want to spoil the leaks now, so yeah. Basically, they're also... They also say, saying your feedback as test subject is crucial and we welcome your ideas for future weekly programs. That's nice, but yeah, overall, it's just all about feedback and so on and so forth. 
difficulty they're basically acknowledging that a lot of people say the game is too easy and they basically go that way like they go that route but we want to make it welcoming to new players that you know once early access leaves will have will come in so yeah however they say that for people that want an ultimate challenge, they will have a more daunting threat from Merkur for these reagents. I would assume that that actually means that they will have some core program that, I don't know, they could call it Program Albtraum or whatever. That is just really, really hard difficulty with, you know, the roughest variators imaginable for people that want a big challenge whereas they say okay for the casual people stay with program x if you don't want to you know be challenged like that so that's nice to see still i don't really share the sentiment that they just hump down on new players because in my opinion outlast trials will be a game moving on forward that will survive mostly because of veteran players i don't think this will be a case like dead by daylight which will have constant stream of new players because you know dbd has all these licenses which brings a lot of people in i think outlast trials will be more of the case that most of the player base will be veteran players at least that's my prediction so i'm not so sure how if I agree with that, but if that means we get really hard game modes for us veteran players to enjoy, honestly, good, good, looking forward to that. And then Road to version 1, our goal is to exit early access and sync with console, because console wouldn't allow early access, mind you. With a new trial in Toy Factory, new MK challenge, additional cosmetics and amps among other surprises. The progression level cap will also be raised. And yeah, basically they... This marks just the beginning of an extensive journey for all reagents and rebounds once the full release occurs because they will do a roadmap afterwards. Basically, they also want to keep supporting the game with new trials, MK challenges, events, enemies, amps and rigs. Like, they're also mentioning Wix here, which is interesting. But also, like, new game modes. They already talked a lot about that a while ago in various articles. Because they want to keep this as a live game. And that's where I kind of want to have a discussion now. Now, the reason why I want to dive a little bit deeper into this and talk a little bit about quote-unquote honest thoughts is... <sighs> Red Barrels really needs to fix something with their... Um, how do you call it? Their communication. It is really bad. Also, in general, I would say if this is like the end of early access, this was one of the worst early access programs it was not in the sense of this is a horrible game quite the opposite actually again in my opinion outlast twice is an amazing game but in terminology of what early access is supposed to be with you know updates and gathering a lot of feedback and so on and so forth it was very poor i'm sorry if this is like too direct or anything but it was very poor and the constant Poor communication doesn't make it any better. The thing is, we have this blog post here that's like basically talking, okay, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming, but a lot of it we could already assume, and a lot of it is like, okay, it's in the near future, and it's also not concrete. Again, we have winter event coming up, but they were like, okay, we do a blog post talking about what's coming out, but we are still saying, okay, more on it soon again. And it's just, it's just really bad in my opinion. It, it's just really bad. And again, if you watched some of my videos in the past, I'm one of the people defending Red Barrels on Outlast Trials because again, I think they're doing a good job overall with the game because it is a great game overall. 
but there are also some things where even I can't stay positive. The communication is fucking ass right now. And at least for release, it needs to step up and get better. Because this can't stay like this, in my opinion. It needs to get a little bit better. And I don't even mean it in a way, okay, they need to push out updates more. Like, yeah, you can talk about that, that Courthouse took like five months or so, or, you know, now till Toy House, it's also, Toy House, <laughs> to Toy Factory, it's also going to be a long ass time, but that's not even the main problem in my opinion, it's just overall, it's just really bad communication, and it's a lot of, you know, Oh my god, we are gonna announce that soon and trying to hype something up, but there is nothing really there because they are so shy of showing stuff that's coming up. I personally, if it was going on me, I wouldn't have that much of a problem, but you have to realize I'm not everyone. Like, a lot of people are... You know, constantly waiting and they're wa asking for updates every single day and, you know, they're impatient and they want to be a live service game, so they need to step up their game, in my opinion. And, yeah, it, it's just not that great right now. Also, other side note, this blog post also didn't tell us what actually comes with the update. For all we know, it's just gonna be a winter event with, you know, cosmetics and stuff. They mentioned down the line to, where is it, World 2 version 1. Okay, we have like new trial in Toy Factory, new MK challenge, additional cosmetics and amps among other surprises. That's talking about World, World 2 version 1. But we don't know if the update that's coming out on Tuesday will actually have other content. like. It will probably be a small update anyways, but if it's gonna have anything, you know, and that's just... It's just, it's just trying to keep it, like, mysterious. I don't know if they're even doing this on purpose or not. That's, like, the worst part as well. But, yeah. I'm just hoping that on Tuesday there's gonna be more than just the event and, like, a small update. Because, again, also going back to the whole early access thing... Not much has changed in the game, which would quantify listening to a lot of feedback. Like, again, going over amps, a lot of them are still broken, overpowered, others are completely horrendous, underpowered. I hope stuff changes, but... What do I know? And I'm sorry if this really comes off as negative, this video, by the way. Because I'm really trying not to. Again, I'm... I'll just try as fanboy. I love the game. When I played it in the beta for the first time, I was convinced. Oh my god, this is gonna be top tier awesome. And when I played it on release, it was also top tier awesome. You know? It's just Red Barrels needs to work on a bunch of stuff, and I think communication should be top, top priority, I should say. But yeah, either way, that's for me today. If you enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Outlast Twice content in the near future. Also, stop by my Twitch stream, link in the description if you want to. I'm still doing the stupid challenge run where I go through the entirety of Program X in a row with like A+, plus, no loadout speed run. You can stop by for that, but yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your day and take care everyone. Bye bye.